Hi, this is Craig and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. If you've been watching the channel, you know we just finished up a transatlantic sailing series. It was awesome. If you haven't caught that, go back and check it out. But a lot of people were missing the fact that Janice wasn't on that trip. You'll be happy to know that we're doing a new series here where we went scuba diving at three different locations and we did it by going off of a cruise ship and Janice will be there for the entire thing. We do two dives at each location. We start off in Grand Cayman, then we go scuba diving in Roatan, and then finally Belize. Unfortunately, the excursion for scuba diving in Cozumel was canceled, so we decided to go on a dune buggy excursion, which was also fun. Now, in case you're new to the channel, we're from Canada and winter sucks. So every year we try and get away from the winter blahs by going on a cruise, except for last year when we chartered a catamaran. But that can be kind of expensive and we can't afford to be doing that every winter. You see, Janice and I are both Pisces, which means we have our birthdays in early March. So every year, either the end of February or the beginning of March, we go on a cruise and call it our birthday gifts to ourselves. And we just find cruises are the most economical way to get around the Caribbean and see a bunch of different islands. I mean, the fares we get are so low, I don't even know how they make money, other than I know they make a lot of money off booze, and if you gamble or buy stuff in their shops, that's where they get you. But if you don't do any of that stuff, it's a sweet, sweet deal. I mean, they feed you unlimited food, they entertain you with not only shows, but comedy shows, and every morning you wake up and you're at a different island. How sweet is that? We've tried other cruise companies, but we come back to Carnival because it is really a party. A party on board. Some of the funniest competitions happen with people who are just guests, like these guys who are doing a lip sync dance off contest, and the wildly popular and hysterically funny Harry Chess competition. I mean, you gotta roll on the floor laughing when you see these guys. Believe me, you're not gonna wanna miss that. But it's not just all the other guests that got made fun of. I got dragged up on stage and made to dance like one of the Supremes. As much as I always divert my eyes when they're looking for people to come up on stage, I always seem to get picked every single cruise. First they taught me how to dance, and then they put a really bad wig on me. That I could become one of the Supremes. All that craziness and so much more coming up on the next episodes of Cruising Off Duty. Now our cruise leaves out of Miami, and in case you're not aware, Ottawa is 2,600 kilometers away from Miami. So according to good old Google Maps here, if we drove, it would take us over 26 hours to drive there. And that's assuming you never stop to pee, never get gas, don't run into construction, or have any other hangups. And when I say hangups, I mean you never sleep and you never eat. Clearly the proper thing to do would be to fly, correct? Well, no, because we are insane and we decided to drive. By one of us sleeping while the other one drove and only stopping to eat occasionally and of course get gas, it took us 30 hours to get there. The weird thing is, here's us driving in Canada. There's no leaves on the trees, but look, no snow. Like spring came early. Here we are crossing the International Bridge into the United States and still not a lick of snow. I promise you we are driving south, but as soon as we get into the United States and the good old state of New York, BAM! Snow. Janice likes stopping at these interstate rest stops, not only because we Occasionally have to pee, but she loves that instant hot chocolate that comes from the vending machine. Here is the New York State rest stop situation. Snowing slash raining. And here's the rest stop. And here's Janice. In a second, you're going to see Janice's tiny little car that makes it so economical for us to car. drive. We're going to drive all the way from Ottawa to Miami. Funny thing is, before we left Ottawa, we took the snow tires off and put on the regular tires because we figured if there's no snow in Canada, why would there be any in the United States, right? We had to drive for eight hours in this slop. I started to really regret the fact that we drove, but we were looking forward to the weather getting warmer and warmer as we drove on. We made it down to Miami in about 30 hours and checked into a hotel so that we could have a shower and a real bed since we'd been living in our car for about 48 hours. Hello, Janice is back in my episode. Hey. Welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. So, together again. Together again. Um, oh, what are we doing? We're at a hotel the night before our cruise. Yeah. We did a last minute price line and we got this Cute little place really that nice. we've never heard of. I'll show you in a second, yeah. Mm. We're doing a one week cruise, mostly because we wanted to do what? Scuba. Yeah, we gotta get our scuba in. We didn't get any scuba done in, in, in the St. Lawrence because it was too cold. Yeah, last summer was too cold. And we did our scuba, as you saw in the previous episode, we mm -hmm. did our scuba certificate in St. Thomas almost last exactly year. one year ago in February. And haven't scuba since, so we yeah. need to catch up. A lot of places say they want you to scuba once a year to keep up your certification, so we had to scuba. So we took our vacation, our winter vacation, and decided to do a cruise instead of some other options we thought of, like yeah, going to Arizona and stuff. Affordable scuba diving. Yeah, because if we went to Arizona, needless to say, there's no ocean, so we wouldn't scuba. So we needed to scuba. So we're doing a carnival cruise, nice and cheap, fun, out of Miami. We're doing um, scuba in Roatan, yep. Belize, and Cozumel. So three excursions already booked, two tank dives each, and it should be fun. I'll bring you with us, of course, and with the GoPro underwater, and that should be awesome. But we just finished 
30 yeah, hours. Yeah, we've been in the car for 30 hours, so we look like we've been in the car. Look at the hair. It's crazy. Yeah, so. We're just gonna go in the pool and then have a shower. And when we say 30 hours, we mean non-stop 30 hours. Yeah, we, we stop to pee and now and then get and, coffee. And stop at McDonald's We, we basically took turns sleeping and driving. Yep. Because that's what we do. Because we're cheap, we just wanna get somewhere and And we wanna get down here early yeah. enough to make a hotel worth exactly. it. Exactly, so, so now we got this hotel with enough time to actually enjoy it. It'll yeah, cool. and this pool, which I'll turn around and show you right now. We're looking forward to going to that next. It's a really nice big room. Um, like we got two beds and we have this big open area over here, an armoire, and like a little coffee bar. Oh, by the way, we're having our rums and Cokes. We got at the Duty Free, our Appleton rum, which we love. And uh, having rum and Cokes in those two to-go mugs. There's our shishi little bathroom. No tub, but we don't usually have a, a, a sh uh, tub anymore. Ooh, it's got one of the rain heads, nice. Nice. Anyways, and that's it. And so we'll we'll take you along on this journey with us. Are these Rice Krispie squares on the wall? <laughs> I'm just telling them what I think these things are on our wall. I just noticed this. We're staying in a Rice Krispie square wall. I just noticed it as I turned the camera off and I started getting dressed. I'm like, are those Rice Krispie squares on the wall? She goes, yeah, I think they are. <laughs> Never seen that before. I guess that's art. Who knows? Here we are once we got onto the cruise ship. And kind of a funny story here. When we got to the parking lot, there was a shuttle waiting to take us to the boat, and we ran to it. I had my backpack with all my camera gear and my drones, but unfortunately I put my vlog camera and my GH5 in a small little separate camera bag, and it didn't come with us. It's still in the trunk of my car. Okay, we finally made it onto Carnival Glory. A little bit of a rigmarole getting on, but we're here. Ready to have a good time? Now what are we going to do? Uh, go inside, get something cold, to drink, give us some ice cream. Yeah, our rooms aren't open until 1.30, so we have to walk around with our gear on until then. Go get some food. Yeah. Finally found a table to put our stuff on. They've redecorated since we were on here before. Yeah, they did. It's nicer, it's more nautical. Yeah. It's got a little more woody feel, more nautical. We're still in there, obviously, the port of Miami. There's the city of Miami in the background. Looking forward to a fun week of scuba diving. We are here in our room finally, which is good because we've been lugging our crap around for the last hour, but we had food. We did dessert. Yeah, dessert. Yummy stuff. So let's just show you our room. Let me see if I can flip this camera around. Our room with a view, although right now we're just looking at the, the harbor, which is not great, but it'll be nice later when we're out in the ocean. Of course, a good king-size bed. And we got a decent-sized cabin. Seems bigger than the last time we had it. We have a nice-sized couch. Mirror for getting ready, TV set, your uh, safe, another mirror, and of course, your head. Ta da! So, if you've ever been on a cruise, it looks pretty similar to what you'd expect. We like the size of these showers in the Carnival Cruises. When we were on uh, Royal, Royal Caribbean, Caribbean, the showers were tiny, yeah. so it looks good. What do you think, Janice? Love it. Love it. All right, now that we got to put our luggage away, we haven't got our real luggage, but we got all this luggage we were carrying on our shoulders while we were walking around. It's the weird thing is you can log in, or you can get in the boat, but you can't get to your room till 1.30 in the afternoon, yeah. correct? Right. All right. The boat has started moving, you can barely yeah. tell. But can yeah, you see. can really barely tell. We were sitting and then we just barely noticed the palm trees are moving. And there's the pilot boats. You always see the pilot boats surrounding the cruise ships as they leave. There's Miami in the background.
Every night for dinner, Janice and I choose to sit at the sit-down dining room instead of the buffet you saw earlier. It's a little fancier, but it is a carnival fun ship, so you just know the waiters are going to get up and dance on the tables at some point. And after a really nice night of dining, we always check out the show. First day is an at-sea day, so Carnival keeps it fun by having a bunch of activities by the pool. In this case, it's a drink competition. You can make their own alcoholic concoction, and it's judged, and then they win more booze. But even more fun was this lip-sync slash dance competition. Yeah. I can't play too much of the music or I'll get a copyright infringement, but this guy clearly won the competition. He's hilarious and you'll see him later in the cruise when he dresses up as Tina Turner and dances on the main stage with the cast. Needless to say, this cruise was one hell of a good time. The Harry chess competition is still coming up. And of course you get to see me dress up in a wig and dance on stage, which is always humorous. And in the next episode we land in Grand Cayman where we take our first scuba diving expedition where we get to see some colorful coral and we get visited by a really curious turtle. Yeah, he actually swam to us. So subscribe to the channel and then hit that notification button so you know when the next episode is up. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. And until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.